Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you all the books I'm hoping to read in January. I plan to participate in the Visco Girls Readathon. I couldn't not do it, so many of my favourite people are hosting it. I will leave the details and the announcement videos of the readathon down below, so please check them out if you're interested. The first prompt for this readathon is Hydro Flask, so we have to either read a hard-hitting contemporary or a book that is over 500 no, 400 pages. For this, I chose Malice by John Gwynn. This is an adult fantasy and I believe it deals with humans' wars with giants or something. I've just heard incredible things. This is a very well-loved fantasy book in the fantasy community and this was so kindly gifted to me by my friend Lucy from Cousin Pages. So please check her out because she is the sweetest and thank you so much Lucy. This is a priority. I'm making sure to get to it this month. <laughs> the next prompt is scrunchies. Read a book with a gorgeous cover and for this I've selected Waist Tides. I believe it's a dystopian book where we follow this girl who's to the waist and she gathers materials and I think she sells them. I'm not entirely too sure but one of my goals this year was to read more translated works so that's why I'm putting this on this list. The third prompt is oversized t-shirts and you have to read a book that's outside of your comfort zone and for this I've chosen Little Women. This is a bind up of Little Women and Little Man. I really want to try and read more classics this year so I thought this would be the perfect one to put on the list and with the movie adaptation out at the moment I want to get to this really soon. It looks stunning and I have to read the book before the movie right? That's the only way to do it. <laughs> the next prompt is and I oh I think that's right I don't know. I kind of cheated a little bit for this prompt and I selected The Girl of Fire and Thorns this book is actually a book that I am hosting a read-along for with a lot of my really good friends on here on booktube. So my co-hosts are Simone from Chasing Pages, Meg from Meg with Books, and Ishi from Ishi Time. Please check them out. I read this book for the first time a few years ago and I loved it. We follow this princess who has this godstone in her belly button and only once a century is someone gifted with the godstone and it means that she is destined to perform some great sort of deed. At the beginning of the book we follow her and she has all this pressure because she is a princess, because she has this godstone, people expect a lot from her and she is married off within one of the first chapters to a king from a neighbouring kingdom. I love this book, I love the politics, I love the magic, I love how it ended up being a journey of self-discovery. It's incredible and I would really love for more people to join in and read along with us. If you are interested, please check out our Twitter page. I'll have that link down below. It has all the details of the readathon. Then we have the prompt Polaroid and for this you have to pick a book that is nostalgic or a book that is a non-fiction and I've selected a non-fiction. I have selected the non-fiction book Another Day in the Depth of America. This book follows a British journalist and he selects one random day. He selects is the 23rd of November 2013 and he researches all the deaths that occurred on that day due to gun violence. He, he then just takes 10 of those cases and he looks at them all and these 10 cases are all focused on young lives that were lost. The youngest person he writes about is 9 and the oldest is 19. None of these deaths ever made the news. And this prompt is to read a book that is overhyped and I'm going to be reading Clockwork Angel. This will be a reread for me. I hadn't read this in the longest time but this is one of my favourite trilogies if you do not know. This is a Cassandra Clare book. I'm trying to read the entire trilogy before Chain of Gold comes out. If you don't know, Chain of Gold is the first book in the sequel series to this trilogy and it follows some of the children from the characters in this book. And this gorgeous edition that is stunning on the cover and has all this beautiful art all the way through the book was very kindly gifted to me by Donna from Donna Sundoku. She is a lovely friend of mine on booktube. I just really appreciate her so much and I'm so thankful Donna that you gave me this and I can't wait to read it because I've honestly been meaning to do a reread of this for a really long time, years at this point, and now I have this beautiful edition to read and appreciate. We have Puka Shell Necklace and for this you have to do a buddy read. I already had a January buddy read planned with my friend Olivia from Olivia Catastrophes channel so she will be linked. Please check out. She's really really lovely and we decided a while ago that we wanted to read Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. I actually tried picking this book up probably about two years ago. I listened to the audiobook from my library and I just 
couldn't do with the audiobooks. Some audiobooks I really struggle with because of the accent. So I picked up a physical copy and I was supposed to read it and I never did. I don't know why I keep putting this book off because it sounds like something I would love. It's basically about magical assassin nuns and I believe there is a sapphic romance. It sounds like everything I would love but why haven't I read this? I really couldn't tell you. So yeah, Olivia, I'm excited for this. You're gonna make me do it. <laughs> the last prompt is Visco. So reading book by one of your faves. I have no idea what I'm gonna read for this. So if you have any suggestions or a book that's your favorite leave it down below and i'll add it and maybe read it this month because that would be that'd be nice to add something different so thank you so much for watching i hope that your new year is going well and i hope that you're enjoying whatever you are currently reading and i will see you next time bye